Welcome everyone, it's Martin here with Crypto Gains. Let's begin with the five key things driving Bitcoin during this week. First of all, we have stocks at record highs. Of course, remember that today the stock markets are closed due to a uh, day of holiday in lieu of the 4th of July. But nonetheless, it seems that a lot of money has moved into stocks away from cryptocurrencies. In addition to that, the fundamentals aren't still completely out of the woods, meaning that they have not fully recovered. And hash rate in particular has been dropping quite significantly as the exit of miners away from China continues. Nonetheless, what's interesting to observe is that the mining difficulty at present is similar to the levels after last year's halving event, yet the price of Bitcoin is 263% higher, which illustrates how incredibly profitable Bitcoin mining has become for efficient miners. In addition to that, it seems that there is very strong resistance around 36,000, so watch for that level as you trade Bitcoin. The volume also fails to build the bull case simply because volumes of Bitcoin are still not recovered to the levels where they were before the May crash. And finally, some analysts are suggesting that investor confidence is slowly returning. However, some analysts are a bit more bullish, suggesting that currently the market is experiencing a state of supply shock as there is not enough Bitcoin and strong hands continue accumulating as the price is in that, in that range. Uh, this is called a divergence where we have buying from strong hands and decreasing prices, suggesting that a big breakout may occur very soon. Also, some significant moves with regards to Ripple. While it keeps trading at 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 level, and we're going to discuss how you can trade it in more detail in a few minutes. And also, Cardano, even though it's still consolidating, there's some very positive developments on the network with uh, the reach of the staking addresses reaching 600 thousand which is very significant milestone that was reached in june and it indicates that the network is growing very rapidly and finally ave is launching permission deployment for institutions in july which of course is going to drive prices higher and increase institutional demand as well now moving to the technical charts let's begin with bitcoin after touching 36,000, Bitcoin experienced a very sharp drop this morning. To me, the dividing line remains 34,400. Above that level, I look to buy Bitcoin with targets 35,200 and 35,900. Conversely, below 34,400, I look to sell Bitcoin with targets 33,400 and 32,800. Now we're moving to Ethereum. Above 2260 to me, Ethereum presents very good buying opportunities with targets 2335 and 2385. Conversely, however, if we are unable to sustain the 2260 level, we could see declines to 2200 and 2100. And now let's take a look at Repo. I like to buy Repo above 0 0.67 with target 0 0.7 and 0 0.725. However, if we break below 0 0.67, we could see more declines with reasonable targets on the short side, 0 0.65 and 0 0.63, which are the mid and longer term support areas. And now let's move to Cardano. The dividing line for Cardano is 1.415. Above that level, opportunities to buy Cardano with targets 1.45 and 1.49. Conversely, however, if we break the support at 1.415, we can see more decreases. Reasonable targets on the short side, 1.386 and 1.35. And finally, let's take a look at Aave. Aave is struggling with long-term resistance at 260, 276. So I'm waiting for a break above that level before initiating long positions in Aave with targets 283.5 and 289. However, below 276, I'm seeing an opportunities, opportunities to sell Aave with targets 268 and 250 on the short side. Thanks for joining me today. Keep learning with the video education section in the Crypto Gains Market Insights subsection. And remember to join the Crypto Signals Made Easy channel for insightful articles and trading ideas. Thanks for joining me today. Trade wisely and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.